Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to On Cash Flow, where I help you become a master of your own cash flow. Now let's get started. So I retired, retired at age 27 to make YouTube videos, to travel around the world, to go hiking a lot, <laughs> to sleep in, and to learn a ton of new things. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you the habits, some of the best habits that I developed in order to make all of this possible. And number one, one of the most substantial and the most critical habits that I developed was minimalist tendencies, or just minimalist habits, anything that has to do with minimalism. And this is the main underlying thing of why I wear these black t-shirts all the time. <laughs> you probably noticed by now that the vast majority of all the videos that I make, I'm gonna be wearing this plain black t-shirt, okay? It's comfy, it's plain, it's black, it's minimalist. That's why I wear them. <laughs> And they're also you know, not too expensive either. But seriously, in terms of minimalism, this is what I think about and I try to apply to most aspects of my life. This comes with just trying to simplify life as much as possible, simplifying everything that I do, having less stuff, having less clutter in my life, having less clutter in my mind, and all kinds of things like that. So all kinds of minimalist habits, I think have definitely helped me on the path to financial independence. It's definitely helped me achieve where I am today because I kind of followed some of those minimalist techniques, those minimalist tactics, just the minimalist lifestyle. And just as important as practicing minimalism was for me, one habit that has definitely helped me along the way is putting systems in place. And what I mean by that is making one-time decisions that are going to automatically just keep happening like in the background. It's basically automating your life kind of thing. One of the biggest examples that I can offer you here is by automating your finances, like automating your investments, automating your savings, automating everything as much as you can. They have this uh, like little acronym or whatever you call, not acronym. It's like these three things that you do, right? It's called automate, delegate, eliminate. Try to automate as much things as you can. Try to eliminate things that are non-essential. If you can't do all those, try to delegate those things, especially if it's gonna allow you to free you up to do other things that you want to do. All of those things are putting systems in place. So you're putting a system in place by automating some tasks that can be automated. You're putting a system in place where you are eliminating something so you don't actually have to do that task anymore if it's a non-essential task. Or you could put in a system of delegating where you delegate a task to something so you don't have to do that task. You delegate it to someone Someone else or something else. So whatever is going to fit your lifestyle best, if you can do some of those three things with some of the things that in your life, you can put systems in place and that's going to actually get you to financial independence. That's going to drastically improve your life. And those are just habits that I think that have drastically improved my life and drastically have excelled me on the path to financial independence. Next up at number three, a very essential habit you need to develop. Okay, I've developed this habit. I have it down to a T here, and that is liking all of my videos <laughs> here on, on Cashflow, especially this video if you're watching it right now. If you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure you like the video. It really does help me out, and I really do appreciate that. It's a really good habit to get into. It just as soon as you start playing one of my videos, just click the like button so you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the video. <laughs> Thank you so much. I would really appreciate it. But seriously, let's move on to habit number three. So habit number three is to seek knowledge. Okay. Okay. Uh, try to learn as many things as possible. You can become an expert in just a few things. More specifically, you can become an expert in one thing. You can try to seek specialty in a topic where you have multiple different things you can learn about that topic. You could also just try to learn as many things as you can, like many random things, maybe just to try to test the waters, try to see if you want to learn about this thing or try to see if you want to learn about that thing. However you want to do, just never stop learning. I think this is definitely a habit that has helped me get to financial independence, especially you know, focused on things like investing, saving money, reducing expenses, increasing income. I was obsessed with learning things about all these things. So I was reading all kinds of books. I was listening to audio books. I was listening to podcasts. I was watching YouTube videos and all kinds of different things that have consistently helped me you know, gain more knowledge on the topic of early retirement, of achieving financial independence, of the FIRE lifestyle, and all these kinds of things. So it's definitely helped me along the way to just keep seeking knowledge about the things that I want to learn about. And you should probably develop that habit as well. And speaking of that, another habit that has helped out tremendously is just to be consistent. All of these things kind of accumulate into just being consistent. You have to be consistent, especially if you want to achieve financial independence. It's going to take consistency. While you do need to adapt and you do need to make changes in your life, I don't think it's as much or as often as you might be led on to believe in other kinds of things that you might be learning about. So while adaptation is important, adaptation is also very slow and you need to be a lot more cautious in the decisions that you're making. In most things, in your life, consistency 
It's the boring route. Consistency is kind of boring, right? But it's going to be the thing that's most likely going to lead you to the greatest results. When it comes to achieving financial independence, if you're consistently putting money and investing it into the stock market, investing it into the bond market, investing it into real estate, whatever your investments are, if you're consistently doing that, you're probably going to come out on top, you know, 5, 10, 15 years from now. If you are, let's say, trying to lose weight, then you're probably going to be better off by sticking to a certain kind of routine and sticking to a, you know, generally healthy diet sticking to one plan rather than just keep changing it up and up and up. Being consistent, I think, is going to be something that's very important. It's a very important habit to have if you want to achieve great results in the long run. And speaking of achieving great results in the long run, one way that you can make sure that you are measuring your results and make sure that you are actually progressing is number five. And number five, I think, is a very important habit, and that is to track things. Of course, I'm going to be relating this to financial independence, and I'm going to be relating it to personal finance, but there are so many other things that you can track as well. Okay, if you're not tracking something, then you have no idea what's going on. If you want to lose weight, then you probably should be tracking how much you weigh. If you want to gain net worth, if you want to invest more, if you want to get rich and achieve financial independence, then you need to be tracking your finances. You need to be tracking your spending, your income, your investments, your net worth, and all that kind of stuff. And luckily, tracking doesn't need to be that difficult. It's so much easier today than it you know, was yesterday and it was 10 years ago. So tracking is definitely one of those essential things, one of those essential habits that you need to get into. Those are some keystone habits that I think have tremendously helped me achieve financial independence and retire early in my 20s. I want to know from you in the comments below, what are some other habits? that you have or that you can develop in order to help you achieve financial independence. Please let me know in the comments below what I missed here. And then once you're done doing that, if you haven't already, I want you to watch another video where I actually explained my journey to financial independence. So I opened it up and kind of shared my personal story of how I achieve financial independence. All of these habits definitely have gone towards that. So if you haven't watched that video, please make sure you watch that video. It's going to pop up right next to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Zach from uncashflow.com and I hope to see you next time.